Hello everyone, this is Ben, KD9LJF. I'm the creator of the ICOM IC705 USB-C upgrade board, and today I wanted to go over how to use RT systems with our upgrade board, and just to demonstrate that when it works, and that um, you can use any good quality USB-C cable with a Mac or a PC to program your 705. Let's jump into it. Okay, so to get started here, we have our ICOM 705 radio with our USB-C upgrade board installed in it. We have a Windows PC and a MacBook that uh, we're going to just demonstrate that we can read data to and from the radio from both systems. So to get started here, we'll start with the MacBook. We have just a standard uh, USB-C cable. This particular one is from Cell Helmet. Um, it's just USB 2 speed, it doesn't have to be USB 3. But what we'll do is we'll just plug it into our USB-C port on the radio. Okay. And now what we can do is we can open up the uh, 705 programming software. Okay, make that a little bigger. And uh, what we can do is, uh, since it's plugged in, we can go to communications, get data from radio. It's going to give a little warning here, so we'll just go ahead and follow the instructions, but we can hit OK. And now we can see that the radio has started um, sending the data out to the computer. And we can see here that it's already imported all of our channels. So uh, let's say, for example, though, we wanted to add a new repeater to our radio. We could go to a site such as Repeater Book, and we could look up a local repeater in the area. Um, let's add, for example, the KC9 ZHV repeater in only Illinois. Um, it's a 440 megahertz repeater, looks like. We can just copy our frequency. We can go back into the program software here and it automatically fills in a lot of the details for us here, which is nice of it. Um, this particular one uses a appeal tone of looks like 140, 141 hertz. So we can go back here and we'll say tone of 141. So we set our details and everything here. And I am going to put it on my two meters, 70, 70 meter, 77 meter band. And um, let's just throw it, yep, there, that's good. We'll hit okay. I'm going to also give it a name. Oh, only if I can spell, there we go. Okay. So now we can do is send that channel to the radio by going back up to communications, send data to radio, and we're going to hit OK. And now the radio is going to, or the computer is going to talk to the radio. It's going to clone that channel in. Um, but the reason I wanted to make this video, I, um, RT Systems has on their site here that um, they uh, do not support USB-C upgrades on their um, software here. Hey, Future Ben here. Um, I'm editing the video and I wanted to address a couple of points about RT Systems. Uh, first off, this video is in no way meant to be a dig at RT Systems. They make excellent software for the ham radio community and I commend their efforts in supporting a wide range of radio models. Now, you may ask why they don't support USB-C upgrades on the 705. And I haven't talked with RT Systems and this video certainly isn't sponsored by them, but my guess is that it comes down to support. When working with software, you have a million factors that have to align for everything to work. Everyone's computer is slightly different, and when you're helping your customers troubleshoot issues, you want to eliminate as many variables as possible. Certain knockoff USB-C boards may not contain the USB data lines that allow the radio to communicate with a computer. RT systems probably receive complaints from people with knockoff boards or perhaps faulty cables, so I'm guessing that's why they have the warning on their page. This is probably why they also sell USB cables on their website. If they can source good quality USB cables and tell their customers to purchase them, 
they can eliminate the garbage quality USB cables that you find in a bargain bin as a variable. We do the same thing too by recommending the cell helmet cables in our store. The reason you don't have to worry about RT Systems warning when using our upgrade board is that our design uses the same electrical layout as the stock USB board. So you can still connect your radio to a computer and everything will work. RT Systems is of course not obligated to help you if you do install our upgrade board, but you can certainly reach out to us if your radio doesn't appear to be talking with your computer. Just don't expect us to program your radio for you. Now back to the video. We can see here that the radio is done, so we can now press the power button to restart it. Press it again, turn it back on. Now we can go to menu, memory, we check our repeaters here, and scroll down. We can see here that the only repeater has in fact been programmed in. And now we can do is just to demonstrate that it works with Windows. Um, I'll disconnect it from my MacBook here, and I have a USB-A to USB-C cable plugged into my PC laptop. Same deal, we'll plug it in on the side here. see that we heard the little tone from Windows saying that detected the device. So we can go to our 705 program software here. Wait for it to load up. Okay. And now what we can do is go to our communications, get data from radio. We'll hit okay. Radio is talking to the computer. You can see it's done importing, and we can see here on channel six, looks like, yep, channel six, we have our only 77 meter repeater we programmed in on the Mac. So that's just a quick demonstration of using RT systems to program the 705 with um, our USB-C upgrade board. Again, if you want to purchase the board, you can go to our website, ihelpyou.tech. Uh, right now, we're running a 20% off special on them because we ran out of stock, so we're waiting for more inventory to get in. So if you want to pre-order our next batch, um, they'll be in, probably be shipping here this uh, mid-February, uh, maybe later in February. But uh, um, say, get 20% off the board um, until we get stock in. So thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your time, and uh, have fun out there.